it's time to learn how to make a bunny out of a square. So here I just have a square, a knit square. It's all just garter stitch. And this particular knit square happens to be an eight inch square. These two bunnies were made from six inch squares. And I do also have this little four inch square, but I thought that might be a little fiddly. I wanted to make sure there was something nice and big for your sample so you can see. Six inches is really the recommended size, but any square you can do this with. So the first thing you're going to do is if there's one direction where it's easier to find a straight line than the other direction, so in garter stitch, you see how when you fold it, it's really easy to find a straight line. Okay, um, if there's a direction where it's easier to find a straight line, that's the direction you want to do your first fold on. And you're just going to fold in half and find the center. Okay, so I folded it, folded it, <laughs> I folded that in half, and here is my center. I've strung up just a really large amount of the blue, probably about a yard. A yard is probably plenty. This is maybe more than a yard, but a yard probably would have been plenty of the blue yarn, the same color yarn as your swatch if possible. Um, and I'm just going to kind of stick my needle right there in what was the center here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up and down in a straight line across the center of my work. And since this is in garter stitch, it's really easy to just find that straight line. If it's something that's not so easy to find the straight line, you might need to kind of mark it with some pins or something, but in garter stitch, it's super easy to find the straight line and I'm just sewing up and down and up and down. Okay, I'm just doing a running stitch. Up and down and up and down. Little running stitch, stitch throughout that straight line, okay? And then, I'm going to pull that until there's just a couple inches of an end. Now, what I need to do is go diagonally. I need to make a little triangle. So I'm going to fold this in half and find my halfway point. It's right here, okay? And now I'm going to make a straight line from here, from here to here. You may want to set a couple of pins along so you can follow them. Whatever works for, me, for you, but you're going to go a straight line from here to here. Do not accidentally sew through. Don't accidentally sew through the yarn that you already have here. So I'm going to start, here's where mine came out. I'm just going to go up right above that so I don't accidentally go through it. And um, again, you can do a running stitch. With the garter stitch, I, can, I find that I can kind of go through the garter stitch a little bit um, but whatever works so that you have you really when you pull that stitch it will actually gather everything up okay so that all the way to there and this does not have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfectly centered from here to here it doesn't have to be um, a perfect running stitch. Nothing about this has to be perfect. Moving the purple bunny because I keep knocking that little dude over. Okay, so now I'm going to go from here to here. So I'm going to go from where I came out back to where I started. Okay, so again, I'm not going to go right in the same hole because I don't want to accidentally sew through my yarn. I'm going to go over just a tiny bit and now I'm just going to keep on running through my garter stitch so just you know up down through whatever works to make a nice gather um, I'm gonna keep going through until I get all the way back to where I started ah! where I started Woohoo! and now pull my needle through Okay, like I said, probably a little longer than it needed to be. So now what I've done is I've made this little triangle that goes, the bottom is halfway between the top and the bottom of my square, and then this other point is halfway in the middle. So it goes this way, this way, this way, and here are both ends. Now I'm going to take a fluff of stuffing, okay? I'm going to stick it right here 
and I'm going to start pulling. And as I start pulling, this is going to form my little bunny head. Bunny head. Woohoo, bunny head. Okay, pull it nice and tight. And then I'm going to take my yarn and tie it. Do not accidentally break your yarn by pulling it too tight. Okay, you want to pull it tight, but you don't want to accidentally break your yarn because you were pulling so tight that you snapped your yarn. Like this is one of those times like when you're tying a bow that it's nice to have a friend with a finger to stick there, but you can do it with your own, that works too. Okay, so now you can see these ears are kind of big and floppy and um, maybe you want your ears to kind of bend and do a little pretty design or something, you know, do a little pretty the um, fold kind of coming in so the inside of the fold is closer to the front or the side because right now they kind of naturally work so the fold is to the back. So what I do is I keep my yarn threaded up on my needle, right? And what I kind of do is just like refold the ears a little bit, <laughs> right? And I pinch it and I just take my needle and I go just through the ear that way and then that way I'm just going through the ear a couple times to kind of tack it so that it gathers like I want it to and I just make sure my last tack comes out um, towards the bottom of the ear and towards the middle so I can then go on to the next ear. Because I am not going to cut this thread. I'm going to do all of this with one strand of thread. Okay, so now I go on to the other ear. I kind of refold it how I want it. And there we go. I refolded it how I want it. And then I kind of, then I'm just going to do that stitchy thing again. Whoops. Like I said, too long. <laughs> I should just trim it. Um, okay, and okay. All right, and now go back the other direction. All right, and I'm gonna come out, come out here by the center here. Okay, now, oopsie, wrapped that all the way around his little head. Okay, did not mean to choke you there, dude. Okay. So now, I still have this piece of yarn that was my end. I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna kinda toss it to the inside of my little bunny. It'll get caught up in there. Now what I'm going to do is you see all of this little opening, ah, little opening here. I'm just going to kinda catch right in between the two ears and then so I'm going right in between the two ears and then right at the base of this little back section and then maybe right between the two ears again and that's just going to tack everything in place and now all you're going to do is carefully stitch this back section shut Okay, just across the top though. So I am just basically, I'm just going at every little, um, every little garter ridge, I'm just stitching the two sides together at every single garter ridge. And now what I'm going to do is do a running stitch all the way around the um, all the way around the edge of the um, the circumference of this circle. All the way around. Okay, so now we're going to fill the back most of the way with stuffing 
Okay, and then what the part that I want to put the poly pellets in is kind of like this little triangle. I want them to be, I want this section to be full of the poly pellets because that's how I want him to stand. You kind of decide how you want your little dude to stand. And so if you want your dude to stand straight up, then it would be just this. If you want your little dude to stand lying down like this, then it would be all of this part, all of this part, sorry. But I want mine to kind of stand at an angle. So this is, this little triangle part right here is what I want to fill with poly pellets. So then I pick up my poly pellets, which I put on the floor. Pick up the poly pellets. <laughs> poly pellets. <laughs> And and in the um, in the pattern that comes with this in the pattern with this video, I do have links to all of these supplies. Now you're going to fill this little dude up with the poly pellets. Kind of want to get the more poly pellets you have, the more it will weigh, and the happier he, it will be to stand. Woo! Stop! 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 If you can do this over a bowl, you can catch your poly pellets. Ah, because as you can see, they love to play. Poly pellets love to play. <laughs> they make a mess. They really do. Um, but they are awesome. Um, there we go. And you're just going to keep on pulling because as you pull, it will tighten your little rabbit booty tighten up the rabbit booty Woo! okay and then all I do to close it up is I just kind of stitch across the little hole there and stitch across and I'm gonna stitch across again and this time I'm going to go right to here and I'm gonna just wrap it around wrap the yarn around my needle a couple times to kind of make a little knot and then I'm gonna stitch across one more time and then I'm gonna bury the end of the yarn by going in and then out way over here Woo! and grabbing my scissors giving it a little clip and now see he happily stands where I want him because I put the poly pellets in there. Without the poly pellets, it's not really gonna stand all that well. The tail will help a little bit, but not that much. So now for the tail, you want a um, pom pom, okay? Uh, for this guy who's eight inch, who I made it from an eight inch square, I probably could, could have used a little bit bigger of a pom pom, but these are the sizes I had made up for, um, for all my bunnies, and he just happens to be the biggest bunny. And what I'm going to do is thread one end of the pom-pom and I'm going to sew it right to like the very top of this gallery bit because of how I want him to stand. So again, you need to think about that. And because a bunny's tail tends to be up high on its backside, it's not like right smack in the center of its backside. It's kind of at where its back meets its booty, right? So I went one direction with that tail, now I'm threading up the other end, the other yarn end, and I'm just threading, going through kind of in the opposite direction there, okay? So you can see, you can see what I did with my two ends, right? And then I'm going to pull them tight, really nice and tight, and then I'm going to do another square knot. Okay, square knots are definitely your friend with this pattern. And now, since it's the same color as the pom-pom, I can just trim it the same length as the pom-pom. And stand him up. Okay, so here we have our little bunny. And if you want to make his face, let me show you how I did that. Obviously. Because I like to start with the mouth first so I can make sure it's nice and centered. And I come in from way back in the back of his head and I try to come out where right where his little nose would be so kind of centered right smack dab in the middle of his face and i pull just until the end of that yarn is basically hidden i might even kind of fudge it a little bit to hide it because i don't want it to be too short now i'm going to go straight down a little bit 
and then so I went in, straight down, and over at a little bit of an angle. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in and over, straight over. In here, up in that same from that same spot, and then try to try really hard to mirror image. It's not the end of the world if you don't, because nature is not always perfectly symmetrical. And now I'm going to come up about where I want the first eye to be. Okay, so coming up right about where I want the first eye to be. Don't pull too tight because um, you don't want to gather his little face. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the yarn around the needle three times very carefully. And I'm going to go back in not in exactly the same space, okay? I'm going to go back in just so that I've caught like one little thread. So I'm just going to go back in over about one thread. And then I'm going to try to come out about the same spot on the other side. Carefully, gently pull that through. And that will make a little French knot. There you go, little French knot. You don't want to pull it really tight. Okay, and now on the other side, again, I'm going to wrap my yarn around my needle three times. One, two, three. Go in over top of like one thread and come out way at the back of the head. And again, be very gentle when you pull it through. And there's that other eye. And now I can just clip and look, little bunny face, bunny face. Ah! So we have bunnies and bunnies and bunnies, bunnies with booties. <laughs> All right. Happy knitting. <laughs>